Part 5. Pressing SR Nexco incisal material on the framework. Cut back the pressed on dentin in order to accommodate the incisal material. Use rotating instruments, for example, tungsten carbide burrs or separating discs. You may draw the anticipated incisal structure on the dentin material using color pencils. Check the cutback with the help of the matrix. Cut back the dentin material until you reach the desired contour. Carefully sandblast the areas to be built up with 80 to 100 micron aluminum oxide at maximum 1 bar pressure. You may then characterize the bridge with suitable SR Nexco stains and SR Nexco effect materials. The dentin surface does not have to be pre-treated. You can add further characteristics in the interior areas by applying opalescent incisal or shaded transpa materials. Check all the characterizations against the matrix. Place the restoration on the flask base again in preparation for pressing the incisal material on the dentin layer. Load the opposing mold with the corresponding incisal material and proceed according to the same steps used in dentin pressing. Join the flask halves and tighten the screws with one or two turns per screw in a clockwise direction. Place the flask loaded with the incisal material in a suitable polymerization device, for example, the LumaMat 100 and Light Cure. Separate the flask halves when the incisal material has been polymerized. Demold the pressed and cured incisal material. It is advisable to remove the silicone from the upper flask half first and then carefully demold the bridge. Polymerize the restoration again separately, without the flask, for example in the LumaMat, in order to completely cure the composite resin. Finish the pressed parts with tungsten carbide burrs or separating discs. Remove the press flash and contour the restoration to the desired shape. Place the bridge on the model to check the contacts and the occlusion and make any adjustments. Finally, polish the restoration with goat's hair brushes, cotton buffing wheels, and suitable polishing agents.